Mark Steiner here, and uh, just doing some more experimenting. Been uh, quite a few hours at it today with the amazing uh, Res 4 and the DMF2. Um, we're also doing some wave folding and some other things, but we're going to kind of build this up. That that patch that I just played there actually bypasses much of what we're going to hear tonight. Um, it's just using a saw wave, um, just a very simple saw wave, and the breath that I'm blowing in. Um, usually I'm opening things up with a filter, but tonight I'm I'm just opening it up with a VCA. So just volume with the breath basically. So it gives it that more of a more of a string sound than a than a wind or a woodwind or a brass sound. And then the vibrato and the band are just changing pitch and So just a saw wave driven by a VCA basically and what makes it so nice is the breath is you know it's analog breath we're going from MIDI which is digital but we're smoothening that breath with some analog slew let's take out the slew we don't you know that doesn't sound so good so I'm gonna barely dial in this slew kind of a controller, you know, that, that's sent from MIDI anyway, that is going as rapidly as like a breath controller. Put a little analog slew on that. Very important thing to do. Um, so we've got that. Um, let's start kind of building up the sound now and get it a little more exotic sounding and interesting sounding. Although that's quite nice. Simple is good. But let's try some... Uh, some wave folding. So we're going to just take that saw wave and kind of multiply it and fold it onto itself. And so let's patch up that folder. Folding it just in two stages is turning that into I'm doing breath uh, vibrato there with my diaphragm. Then we're folding it four times here. And so that wave folder, while I'm playing, I'm leaving it static, and that's important. Anytime you're leaving something like that static, it's kind of like starting to create a physical body, so to speak, of this sound. Let's fold it now um, a sixth time. We're even getting a bit more buzzy there. So we got more overtones to work with, and we love overtones when we're using great filters. Or even bad filters, but these are great filters. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, start sculpting those overtones. So we're going to create a physical body with the Res 4. It's basically uh, modeling pockets inside of something. It could be pockets inside of a head so it talks like an alien, or it can be pockets inside a wood thing that you've carved out or whatever. So let's, let's uh, go into this one that I've carved a little here tonight. So a lot more complex now, and I like um, I like to dial through these resonant bodies to kind of see how the how the tone changes over the range. It's not like a sample where it's the exact th same thing shrinking, but parts of it change over the range and parts of it stay the same. So let's listen to how that works on this sound. Let's uh, 
let's bypass in here without that. You hear how that's a little, and I like sci-fi stuff, but this is more sci-fi. It's beautiful. But we sound a lot more organic if we're using resonant bodies. She looks more like, you know, you're killing a string bass in the woods or something. So, and that's why it's fun, so. But anyway, we've got that on there now. So we've got this really wooden sound and you might, throughout these you're gonna hear things transform from a string instrument into a woodwind instrument into a double reed instrument and in between. So we just, we just wonder what that is. Who knows, it's different for different people. I like to bend it around so it's kind of like I'm struggling to play it in tune. Because I can be in tune. Love that range in there. There's some instabilities in that uh, string bass there. Or bass clarinet made out of weird stuff, but yeah. And I haven't got such wonderful tones from a resonant body as I have from the from the Res 4. It's unbelievable. It sounds so good. So it, I've just been having a blast with it. So we, anyway, we've got a really exotic instrument here, a really exotic tone. got a really exotic tone there, um, which would be really nice if I were doing a soundtrack or a song or something where I wanted it to sound unbelievably exotic, even like kind of alien and maybe even really ancient. Um, and because it's so bright, it's just such a bright sound. Um, but we also want to have in our music some, sometimes, and it's been a hard thing for me to do, and that is to pull things back and subdue it and make it a, a little bit more of a an instrument that a master has worked and take time, taken their time on. I also like to think of it as a soaking the reed a little bit more. So who knows, in some land, I don't know, thousands of years ago or whatever, some uh, some guy had a double reed instrument, you know, in the early times, whenever they, whoever invented that or came up with a double reed instrument. And he was playing, and he wanted to go and practice his double reed instrument, this person. And he uh, he's looking all around, and he couldn't find his reed. And he's like, We're, those are so hard to make, they're hard to get back then. There's not direct distrib distributors. And so he's looking around for his reed. He's only got one and it took forever to make. And so he sees his little son over there. And you know how toddlers are even in the ancient world. So his son had his reed and what was he doing with it? He was sucking on it, sucking on that reed. So like, I don't know, how, who knows how long that kid was sucking on that reed. But that kid did our planet a favor and introduced us to more subdued tones with reed instruments. And so, to use a more wet reed on this sound. We're gonna pipe all of this into the DMF2. And we're gonna leave the DMF2 as a final um, 
part of the filter bank, but it's going to be a low pass filter, whereas these four are band pass filters. So this low pass filter, we're going to soak that reed a little bit. About to where that, that little kid soaked it. All right, so now we're, we've got this soaked reed that sounded better. And then the, the guy found one of his dry reeds and plugged it in. That didn't, that didn't sound normal. And he liked that, but uh, he liked that a lot. But his, his wife was listening to it and she's like, and she didn't much like his music. And she, just, she says to him, could you, you said other read, well, that one sounded a lot better. I don't, I don't know why. And he's like, no, Bobby over there has been sucking on it. I'm not going to. And I found my other one. So she goes, no, no, try the other one. Trust me. And he puts it back in. About to where Bobby had it there, to that moisture level. And his, you know, he wants to make his wife happy. He disagrees, but he puts in that soaked gross read. Play some more. Make it a little less wet there. So we have a much prettier, more mellow tone, but it's still really complex. We've got wave folding, we've got the, and the, the filter array in a really unusual configuration. Um, something really important about this also that I actually I uh, did by accident and the last video you saw I thought I had it going from the filter or from the oscillator into the wave folder and then into the filter bank when I saw the patch this morning and had another look at it I realized oh no I was uh, I was actually going to the fil from the oscillator to the filter then to the wave folder and then all of that was being driven by breath turning it up in amplitude so and so I reversed it today, spent a lot of time putting it the way I intended to, and I realized it's a more complex, more interesting sound. Even if I dampen it later with that last low pass filter, it's a much more interesting sound if I have, if I go VCO, resonant chamber, and then the wave folder. So whatever that resonant body, that, that piece of wood we've carved out, whatever that is, We've then mul multiplied it with the wave folder. We've made it a lot more interesting somehow. And uh, so that was a really good discovery. And, and uh, I was really kind of embarrassed by it because it was a mistake, you know, but it was a, it was a good mistake. I was bummed out because it, it's actually the first mistake I've made this year, but it, it was worth making because now I'm, I've got these patches going on sounds that I haven't ever done on a synthesizer before. And it's a lot of fun. And all of these apply to wind instruments or just if your sequencer's going or whatever. All of these will make more interesting tones no matter how you're driving them. And so they're worth knowing about. Um, let's, let's carve a, some different bodies here. This is a good one. Back to the dry reed. Let's carve out. And dial those knobs with your ears. Find something cool. Let's 
Let's use a, a more of a wet reed there. Or more of a smooth bow, maybe. stumbled on a really good one we have some good interference in that body and normally you'd maybe say back to the drawing board if you're an instrument maker but those are pretty cool a pirate might not be doing that as much oh it is though Let's brighten that up. Listen to that, it's going through a lot of squeaky wood. If you want a lot of squeaks like that, what you do is what I've done here. These three of these resonant bands are really close together. We can use our ears to put, push those together to get something less melodic and more of an effect. So even with a, a dampened reed or a, or a bow, smoother bow, we're getting a nice effect. get out a knife and carve some of that wood so that those pockets in that instrument are not interfering with each other. Okay, so th this is a little bit better. Um, it's not an effect sound, but more of a real instrument. Still exotic in it, but it's dampened, so it can be pretty. the resonance and let's again bypass the folder the wave folder and let's um, let's go from a saw over to a triangle nice and simple there let's make it more complex though let's uh, let's put it through the folder The folder makes it interesting, but can make it a little plasticky. That's why we want to have the resonant body in there also. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna do four folds. That's some good overtones to bite into. Let's turn on the filters. Oh, let's do the sweep to show that. Okay, without, without the filter bank. It's awesome to zip through a wave, a static wave fold. Love it. Well, let's get back to some uh, organic structures. Turn on the filter bank. We're sounding like physical materials now more. Let's uh, grab that wet reed from Bobby and let's get that dampened. He hasn't been sucking on it that long, so this time just a little bit dampened there. clarinet down there direction of a direction of a clarinet but not for very long so let's carve some wood out of there and I'm having no success carving out a good clarinet <laughs> That's a little better. I'm gonna make a, the reed a little drier, blow on it for five minutes. And we're gonna take down some resonance for that clarinet to make it a little more stable. Anyway, just some more uh, fun messing around. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care, everybody.
Thank <laughs> you.